I'd like to read from Galatians 1 through 12. Uh, these verses hold so much. I'd like to read it to you right now what is going on in front of our eyes and what we are being told and if you have eyes to see and ears to hear and you have not succumbed to the voices around you and the visuals you are shown I think you will understand why this is so important right now. The significance of this was given to Prodigal Returned and how she shared this with me was really important. So I just want to read it and I place it in front of you and you take it and you gleam from it what the Spirit lets you and allows you. So just be open. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Please help me. I am very feeble. I am not a good reader at all. Um, I stumble a lot. But I'm being obedient, so praise Jesus. Galatians 1. This is the New Century Version. From Paul, an apostle, I was not chosen to be an apostle by human beings, nor was I sent from human beings. I was made an apostle through Jesus Christ and God the Father, who raised Jesus from the dead. This letter is also from all of those in God's family who are with me, to the churches in Galatia. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus gave himself for our sins to free us from this evil world we live in. As God the Father planned, the glory belongs to God forever and ever. Amen. God, by his grace through Christ, called you to become his people so I am amazed that you are turning away so quickly and believing something different than the good news. Really, there is no other good news. But some people are confusing you. They want to change the good news of Christ. We preach to you the good news. So if we ourselves, or even an angel from heaven, should preach to you something different, we should be judged guilty. I said this before, and now I say it again. You have already accepted the good news. If anyone is preaching something different to you, let that person be judged guilty. Do you think I am trying to make people accept me? No, God is the one I am trying to please. Am I trying to please people? I'd like to read that sentence again on here. Am I trying to please people? If I still wanted to please people, I would not be a servant of Christ. Brothers and sisters, I want you to know that the good news I preached to you was not made up by human beings. I did not get it from humans, nor did anyone teach it to me, but Jesus Christ showed it to me. This is Galatians 1 through 12. This is the New King James Version. Paul an apostle, not from men, nor through men, but through Jesus Christ and God the Father, who raised him from the dead, and all the brethren who are with me, to the churches of Galatia. Grace to you, and peace from God the Father, 
and our Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from this present evil age, according to the will of our God and Father, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. I marvel that you are turning away so soon from him who called you in the grace of Christ to a different gospel, which is not another. But there are some who trouble you and want to pervert the gospel of Christ. But even if we, or an angel from heaven, preached any other gospel to you than what we have preached to you, let him be accursed. As we have said before, so now I say again, if anyone preaches any other gospel to you than what you have received, let him be accursed. For do I now persuade men, or God? Or do I seek to please men? For if I still pleased men, I would not be a bondservant of Christ. Oh, let me read that again. Or do I seek to please men? For if I still pleased men, I would not be a bondservant of Christ. But I make known to you, brethren, that gospel which was preached by me is not according to man, for I neither received it from man, nor was I taught it, but it came through the revelation of Jesus Christ. And that was the New King James Version. Okay, I'm going to read Galatians 1, 1 through 12. This time I'm reading it from the New International Version. Paul, an apostle, sent not from men nor by a man, but by Jesus Christ and God the Father, who raised him from the dead, and all the brothers and sisters with me, to the churches in Galatia. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins to rescue us from this present evil age, according to the will of our God and Father, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. I am astonished that you are so quickly deserting the one who called you to live in the grace of Christ and are turning to a different gospel, which is really no gospel at all. Well, that's good. Let me read that again. Well, it's all good. <laughs> I am astonished that you are so quickly deserting the one who called you to live in the grace of Christ and are turning to a different gospel, which is really no gospel at all. Evidently, some people are throwing you into confusion and are trying to pervert the gospel of Christ. But even if we, or an angel from heaven, should preach a gospel other than the one we preach to you, let them be under God's curse. I'm going to repeat that. But even if we, or an angel from heaven, should preach a gospel other than the one we preach to you, let them be under God's curse. As we have already said, so now I say again, if anybody is preaching to you a gospel other than what you accepted, let them be under God's curse. Am I trying to win the approval of human beings or of God? Or am I trying to please people? If I were still trying to please people, I would not be a servant of Christ. I'd like to read that again. Am I now trying to win the approval of human beings or of God? Or am I trying to please people? If I were still trying to please people, I would not, I would not be a servant of Christ. 
I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that the gospel I preached is not of human origin. I did not receive it from any man, nor was I taught it. Rather, I received it by revelation from Jesus Christ.